Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to install Windows 11 in VirtualBox. Currently Windows 11 is not supported by VirtualBox, it's only just been launched three days ago, beginning of October 2021. They will fix VirtualBox eventually to support, but at the moment if you want to have a quick look at Windows 11, this is a quick fix to get around the problem of um, the support by VirtualBox, but the TPM requirement and also secure boot and minimum RAM requirement. At the moment, I've only got eight gigabytes on this laptop, so it's struggling to run a virtual machine with four gigabytes, so we're gonna work around that. You can see I've been installing one previously. I'm just gonna remove and delete that. And come up by a new one. I'm gonna call this Windows 11 new because i've had one previously and i'm going to choose windows 10 here now you'll see that windows 11 isn't listed yet uh, that will change click next and i'm going to leave the default two gigabytes of ram or 2048 megabytes the minimum requirement for windows 11 is 4096 but i've only got eight gigabytes on this laptop so I'm going to leave it this and the registry hack should bypass that minimum requirement. So click next, create, and I'm just going to take the default size. You may well want to change this to 100. Uh, I'm running out of disk space as well. Click next. And then we're going to go to settings. And within settings, if I go to system, processor i'm going to change this to two because it's a minimum requirement of two cores that it requires uh, some websites are saying to tick this efi um, but there's issues when i ticked it, it just went to a black screen so i'm going to leave it unticked the network i'm going to leave it not you may well want to bridge it or use internal nick i'm just going to leave it not at the moment or you could add in a bridged adapter on adapter two start up and then we're going to point it to the iso file you'll have to get the iso file either from the microsoft website or if you're in education from a lab key or from the technicians or your your tutors or some other way of getting an iso file for evaluation so click on this folder here i've just downloaded this our technicians gave us this uh, file Click start. Now it doesn't take long before it, it comes up with the language menu and then we can do our registry hack. I found the interface once installed Windows 11 is quite slick, minimalistic, um, but all the things that we need to get to quickly are centralized on the desktop. give this a second and here we are i'm just going to change this language to united kingdom click next and at this point click your mouse on the desktop there and hold the shift f10 key to launch the command prompt from here type in reg edit to edit the registry and we're going to go down to local machine hotkey system and then set up and i'm just going to right click new key here and in setup i'm going to create a new key called lab config there's lab config and then i double click on that and then right click oh, new D word, 32 bit value, and I'm going to type in bypass TPM check. So that's bypass TPM check. And I'm going to change that value. So right click modify, change to one. 
Then I'm going to do the same again. So back to log lab config, new dword 32 bit by pass RAM check. It bypasses that minimum requirement of four gigabytes. And again, check your value. So modify, put it on, just double click this time. And then new D word again and by pass secure boot check. Change the value there. Then we could type in exit here and install. And this should bypass that secure boot check and bypass the TPM um, requirement and also the minimum RAM requirement. Uh, so we can run on a machine with less resources. I'm only using this for evaluation at the moment, um, working remotely, so it's difficult to run multiple machines on, on my laptop. So I don't have a product key at the moment. And I'm going to choose education. Now, if it's going to fail, it's going to fail at this point, but we've bypassed the point of failure. So I've read the license custom click next and that's the installation started so later on it'll ask you to um, log into the microsoft website um, what i would suggest is you skip that and join a domain uh, just to get through the installation okay thanks for listening